tonight's winning lottery numbers in take five. They are four, six, 11, 21, and 25. The daily number nine, three, and seven, and the win for number seven, three, four, and six. And Brian McGorman joins us with sports, a changing of the guards in the NFL coaching ranks. Surprising yeah. change, too, because talk about being caught off guard. Joe Gibbs absolutely surprised everybody today by resigning as the head coach of the Washington Redskins. Richie Pettibone, his longtime assistant, takes over for Gibbs, who led the Skins to three Super Bowl titles during his 12 years at the helm. Gibbs called it the toughest decision he's ever had to make, and he said he was stepping down because of his health and a strong desire to spend more time with his family. I love those 12 years, and I want them all to be great. I want them all to be Super Bowls, and that's the reason why I did not want to step back into another one next year and try and fake it or try and have a feeling like and realizing that I wanted to be with my family or not feeling quite as good as I should. I did not want to start off and coach another year when, when we didn't have a chance to have a great year. The wackiest Big East season in memory comes to an end tomorrow for the Syracuse Orange when they take on Pittsburgh in the Carrier Dome. Since the Orange and Panthers are two of the teams sharing third place entering the final weekend of the season, you know there's plenty at stake, including a farewell to seniors Mike Hopkins, Conrad McRae, Dave Syock, and Michael Edwards. Breakdown, double teams running. These guys are like my brothers, you know. Been here for four years, grew up with them, done everything with them, hung out with them, and just had a good time. And I'll always remember and I'll always keep in touch with them. Tomorrow may mark the end of their career in the Dome, but Edwards, Syak, Hopkins, McCray, and the rest still have next week's Big East tournament to look forward to. While the Basketball Orange are winding down their season, lacrossers are just beginning theirs. They open up tomorrow afternoon on the road against the third-ranked North Carolina Tar Heels. I think this is the way it should be. You know, it's going to be an early test, and it's going to be a good indicator of you know, where we are. And like I said, we're all excited about going down there for preseason number three, and we're, we're preseason number one, so it's a big game. And uh, I think that we ought to open up with one of the stronger teams. And I think it's an advantage to us. College Hoops action tonight. Franklin Pierce with a big comeback in the final few minutes. Beat Lemoyne 75-73, ending the Dolphins season. OCC still alive. They beat Hudson Valley 110-85. In women's play, Big East Tournament, SU's season is finished. St. John's beat them 67-50. And that wraps up SU's season in the Big East. On the ice, so first we go to the basketball. The Bulls were without Michael Jordan tonight, but they still have to battle the, the uh, San Antonio Spurs. They have Scotty Pippen, who can sky like Michael for one there. And he can move inside to watch Scotty fight it off. Drift inside for two. He had a triple-double tonight. John Lucas doesn't look happy there, but he would later as his team started a run and got it out to the Admiral. David Robinson, who slams home two of his 28. Yeah, that would go their way. In overtime, the bounces all the way of the Spurs. Watch this one by Willie Anderson. Get the three bounce and in. And they win this one, 107-102 over the Bulls in overtime. Elsewhere tonight, Boston beat Detroit 105-101. Ronnie Cycli with 22 points, 21 rebounds, leading the Miami to a 109-105 win over the Clippers. And Houston and Dallas, well, Houston beats Dallas again. That's 13 straight losses for the woefully inept Mavericks. On the ice, a big Patrick division battle as the first-place Pittsburgh Penguins, with Mario Lemieux back in action, travel to Manhattan to take on the Rangers, who are trying to climb back up in the standings. There's Mario trying to lift his team. Mark Messier also returned for the Rangers tonight, but not all night. He and Ulf Samuelson exchanged, uh, well, I don't know, belated Thanksgiving Christmas wishes here as they get into a stick swing duel. Both ejected from the game. Uh, Messi did have a goal earlier, though, setting things up for the third period when Mike Gartner puts in the rebound to break a 1-1 tie, make it 2-1 Rangers. And then Sergei Zubov threads the needle with this shot, and the Rangers win it 3-1 to move to within a two points of second place in the Patrick. Elsewhere, Chicago and the Devils tie at one. Hartford surprises Buffalo the Sabres, struggling right now 4-2. Toronto loses to Detroit 5-1. That ends Toronto's 10-game unbeaten streak. And the Philadelphia Flyers shut out the Washington Capitals by a score of 3-0. At the on center this afternoon, it is wrestling. This is the state championships, folks. And right now, after the quarterfinals in wrestling, Section 4 is the leader, Section 5 is second, and Section 3 is in third place right now. That's where they finished last year into the semifinals tomorrow from Section 3. David Caruso in the 91 pound, Terry Showalter in 126, Greg Shaw in the 138, Terry Kutry in the 155, Jason Gleason in the 215, and Dave Maggot in the 250 pound class. I don't want to tangle with him. That okay. continues tomorrow at the On Center semifinals and finals tomorrow night. 250 pound He's wrestler. He's a big one. Excuse me, sir. That might be heavyweight. <laughs> I think so. Thanks, Brian. Well, one of Syracuse's most celebrated job searches is Put the Song. And has become the talk of the town. Two Bisons sitting here together. It's Italian festival time at Burger King, and I'm just getting emotional. I love 
this place. Were you people aware that it's Italian festival time at Burger King? What do you get? Boom, three Italian sandwiches. You get Italian sausage, Italian chicken, and Italian burger sandwich. All covered with the mozzarella cheese and the marinara sauce. How's it taste? It's nice. I never thought Burger King would go Italian. Mm. Did you see the gondola? It's Italian festival time. Boom, there it is, your way right away. I love this place. Your truck headquarters is the Fusillo Auto Mall. Good evening, truck buyers. I'm Tom Park. We're closed right now, but tomorrow the good news continues. That's volume selling seven days a week. Monday through Sunday, a great selection and a great price. Over 200 brand new pickups to choose from in the same location. You know, you don't have to go all over town to 10 different locations. Talk to 10 different salespeople just to find the truck you're looking for. You can talk to one salesperson here at the Auto Mall and choose from all this selection. Half tons, three quarter tons, one tons. We have the Cummins Turbo Diesel pickups, Dodges, Chevys, Fords, whatever you're looking for. Over 75 extended cab pickups all right here at the Fusello Auto Mall. That's why we say even if you live a couple of hundred miles away, it's well worth the short drive for a better selection and a lower price. And we're very easy to find. You take Route 81 to exit 41, you'll come to a stop sign, take a left-hand turn, and you're right there. A great selection of pickups. See for yourself how we give you more for your truck purchasing dollar. All day tomorrow at the Fusello Auto Mall. Make any room beautiful with these Oriental-style rugs. Huge selection of colors, styles, and sizes in stock. Priced from $49 only at Chinatown, Syracuse's original furniture discounter. At last, it's evening, and a hot home-cooked meal can make up for so much. Bird's Eye Easy Recipe. Food from the heart, not the microwave. Just brown fresh chicken, then add the Easy Recipe blend of crisp bird's eye vegetables. Carrots, snow peas, broccoli, peppers, plus pasta, and a savory sauce. A great meal for two in minutes. So you do what you can, we'll do what you can't. Bird's Eye Easy Recipe. Let's make dinner together.